Yeah, I'm Mountain Man from West Virginia. We're gonna show you how we got to haul water. We either gotta go down the road or up the road to get our water. One water line ends at the church, which is two and a half miles from the house, or we can go the opposite way, approximately five miles up the road to where the water line is. The water company hasn't got its water lines yet. The old truck here, it, it's a water truck. It's the only thing we use it for is to haul water. It's like we get free water, but the aggravation and the wear and the tear on the truck is just not worth the free water. I'd rather have the water line than be paying the water bill. The water. We get Clorox and put in here. Help purify the water, I reckon. Bubbles down there is from groundwater. When it rains, saturation in the, in the ground soaks through the rocks and drips down in it. Well, we'll go get us a load of water. Love to take the old farm truck to go haul water with. It's free water, but it's wear and tear on the truck. Water weighs eight pounds a gallon, and we're hauling 300 gallons. So that's three eighths is 2,400 pounds. As you can see, this is just a license for a farm vehicle only. I went through three trucks hauling water. First truck pour the front end out on it. Second truck is the truck we normally drive now. We got this truck to keep from tearing the other truck up hauling water. put the $85 piece on it. Then we get the $45 hose out. Then I would stick one end in the tank. Get the other end out. Lock her down, and then turn it on. Like the water company realizes, you'll probably haul three to four loads a, a month. pickup truck so it's right at the weight limit I don't go fast I don't give it a lot of gas I just just enough to get it going just let her smoothly go and sell uh, approximately a thousand gallon cistern takes three and a half loads to fill it it's easier once you start doing it to go ahead and fill it up it takes approximately ten dollars to run three loads Another aggravation is during the winter, if you don't take your valve out and store it inside, then it will freeze up, and then you got the aggravation of trying to unthaw it. Another aggravation with our free water deal, we got to have a pump to pump the water. You're only supposed to pump 20 to 30 pound pressure. The gauge froze up winter time. 
broke the gauge. I haven't had it replaced yet, but it's showing well over 100 pound pressure, which that would have done blowed the faucets and everything else out if it was. Sometimes you got to turn that thing off and on about 10 or 15 times and it gets hard on the finger, so I, I made a ridge to just to turn the valve off and on. It's like we get free water, but the aggravation and the wear and the tear on the truck is just not worth the free water. I'd rather have the water line than be paying the water bill.